Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another resin project. So a few months ago, not months, a few weeks ago, I shared a project pouring resin on acrylic ornament blanks to get these adorable ornaments with resin backgrounds. I showed you five different um, backgrounds, everything from marble to alcohol ink to glitter. And today I thought we'd take it one step further and I would show you how to actually make an ornament out of resin. This is quick, this is easy. You can use a silicone mold, I'll show you the one I have, and you can make them any color that you like from transparent to copper. <laughs> so this is a beginner level project. If you've never poured resin before, that's okay. I will walk you through all the steps and we will get started. Let's go. All right, y'all, so let's jump right in to mixing our resin. So we are going to start by putting on all of our protective gear, because that is always the most important. So, dun -dun -dun -dun. go ahead and put on my gloves, put on my respirator, and now I am going to make several projects at once, even though I'm going to be showing you these projects one at a time. And so in order to make the four or five different fall projects I'm working on, I'm going to go ahead and mix 900 milliliters of resin, and then I'll split it between those projects. I will put on the screen here how many milliliters we use for each individual project on that video. Um, and I am, of course, using my Total Boat Maker Poxy. This is a one-to-one -one ratio resin. If you want a full in-depth mixing tutorial for resin, I did just release my resin for beginners course. I will link that down below. I go over every single step in detail for all kinds of things, but mixing resin is lesson number one, because if you're gonna make anything with resin, kind of an important step. But for today, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna mix 900 milliliters of resin here, and then we will get started with our individual fall projects. I'm so excited. We have so many fun things to make today. So as always, just dun 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 dun. One pump. So one pump. I'll be back once this is all mixed up and ready to roll. All right, so we've got all our resin mixed. We've got about, well, it doesn't really matter because we're using different amounts for each project. <laughs> but we've got about half copper and half of the copper flakes. So we're going to go ahead. I've let them sit for a minute. I'm going to use my heat gun to pop all those bubbles. <laughs> least any bubbles that have come to the surface. Of course, we are using a silicone mold today, so we want to use a heat gun instead of a torch. That way we do not melt our silicone mold. But I'm going to go ahead and move everything out of the way so that we can bring our uh, silicone mold in and get started. All right, y'all, so we are going to go ahead and mix some solid ornament blanks here. I'm going to go ahead and add um, Cricut vinyl to these when they are finished. So I've just got some Maker Poxy. This is a one-to-one -one ratio, part A, part B. And I've mixed it up in my little silicone cup with some metallic copper testers paint. This is oil-based. I like it because it gives this really pretty, like, varied kind of color. It's not one solid color once it cures. It's uh, shifts, shifts in, in patterns. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to put about 50 milliliters in each of these bottom ones. I don't want them to be as thick as the top ones where I did my floral patterns. So let's see, we've got about 250. 
that. Let's see how much that is. A little bit more. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. We just want everything to be about even across the bottom. And I find that 50 milliliters makes a decent sized disc. Forgot to grab a paper towel. So this has just some iridescent flake resin that was left over from another project. And I'm going to go in and mix the two and we'll see what we get. It should still be liquid. I just poured it. About 30, 40 minutes ago. Add a little bit more to these two and we'll call it a day. Perfect. All right, I think that's good. So I'm going to just use my little stir stick here. wipe it off and I'm just gonna mix that metallic up a bit smoother. It will continue to settle as it cures. So it's not like whatever I do will be the finished pattern. I just want wider swoops than the small swoops. Last but not least, I'm gonna stir this a bit. Mix it just a little with that bottom. And I'm gonna call it good. So we will unmold these in uh, 24 to 48 hours. They should be cured. And then we will add some Cricut decals to them. The top ones I did deep pour resin with flowers from my garden. So if you want to see how we did those, I will link to that below. But for today, we're all set. We'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all ready to unmold these? They typically pop out really easily. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that color shift. It's going to be so pretty with some designs on there. I have some really cute SVGs that I wanted ornaments to put on and I want them to be super like the designs to stand out. So I'm thinking white vinyl on this color shift background. Let's see. Let's see about this one. I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know that I like that. I don't hate it. I just don't know that I like it. We might just use the back. <laughs> it's interesting. Maybe I'll do a solid or something. I don't know. I do have a third one of these because when I was mixing another project the other day, I had a whole bunch of leftover copper resin. So I went ahead and unmolded one of these and poured a third one. So we might just leave this for a different project. It'd be super cute for like something mermaid themed in the summer. Either way, I love, I love that color shift. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll pop over 
to Cricut Design Space. So I will link that tutorial down below if you want to see what we put on these. But this is, this is my very basic tutorial for making resin ornament blanks. So you can now paint on these. You can vinyl on them like I'm going to. You could put them right on the tree like this, whatever you want to do. So I will give you a close up of these, but they are basically finished. I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you want to see the flower pieces unmolded, I'll link to that below as well. All right, y'all. So a few months ago, I whipped up a whole bunch of cute, just Christmas SVGs for a different ornament project. And I will link those down below. But for this project, I had several of those that I cut out at that time. I just cut them on my Cricut Maker with some white vinyl that I hadn't used. And so why go ahead and cut more and waste these? I set them aside. I knew I'd use them later. So I've grabbed a bit of Cricut transfer tape and we're just going to pop these on our ornaments. Of course, you could do names or personalize them in a different way. But I kind of want these to go with the ornaments I already made. I will link that video down below because instead of just solid ornaments for that video, I did <laughs> I did five different techniques, including marble and alcohol ink, all kinds of fun things. So I will link that down below and you can see how I did those. They were on acrylic blanks. I'm going to have to go take that away from her. All right, let's see. Did it? Did it work? And we're gonna just do a little harder. And so when I did that, I did, I think 12 or 16 ornaments. I don't remember how many there were, but it was quite a few. And I wasn't sure which of the SVGs I wanted for each ornament. So I just cut all of the designs I made. Three little dots, like if it's not one part, it's another. There we go. So let's just put this on the first one. We're just going to line them up. So cute. I think he's cute. Just want to make sure the dot on that eye transferred, but he did. is just so pretty. Oh, this is going to look so cute on the tree. Color me obsessed. Mama. 
a little A. You can do it. H seems a little wonky. Let's see if we can't sort him out before we stick him down because I don't know why. Something I did. Something I did made him wonky, I'm sure. He's for Santa. There we go, that's how it's supposed to do. This kind of looks like a cookie. Haha, -ha. success. He is a little wonky, but and we can fix him. Voila. Let's see. You want to participate, little A? There we go. You just got twisted. And they're done. I love them. I'm going to go put them on my tree with the other ones that I made uh, last October. I don't remember. I made them early. My little acrylic blanks and the three flower pieces we made in the same mold. So let's go see how they look. All right, y'all. I love how they turned out. I love the SVGs. Now they match with all of my other ornaments. So I have a full set. I will leave a link below to this tree. This year I did five different resin ornaments for the entire tree. So the base, of course, is these larger poinsettias and the garland and the just plastic ornaments. With my animals, plastic is more important than glass. But everything else 
from the resin ornaments to the acrylic blanks to the hummingbirds to the snowflakes are all resin. If you want to go check out that tree, I will leave the link down below. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the next project. Bye.